Welcome to the Skein Witch YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Alicia, or Allie for short. If you like talking yarn or crochet or knitting or anything fiber related, definitely subscribe to my channel and follow me, my pretty. <laughs> How are we all doing? This is my first video back actually like in person, I guess you could say. My last video was a knit with me voiceover. I apologize for Rico jumping off the bed and making some background noise. I hope you guys understand that he likes to walk around as soon as I hit record. He'll be laying in bed all day, but the minute I hit record, he gets up. Anyways, so today's video, I'm going to do a small, hopefully very short video. I bought two new things that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, the first couple of things that I bought was from Jimmy Bean Wool. Um, they're just little notions, no, no yarn from them. But I did buy some, I think, new Lion Brand yarn. From what I know, I think it's pretty new. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right in. I'm in the middle of editing my video and I realized that I continue to look over to the side like this when I'm talking. And the reason why is because I got a new camera and the viewfinder is now on the side of the camera and not the top like it used to be. So I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder and that's why I keep looking over. So I'm really, really sorry. On the next video, I will try my hardest not to look in the viewfinder. So yeah, sorry. Okay, so first thing is from Jimmy Bean Wool. I opened this by accident because I didn't really know what it was and I didn't look at the, the shipping label. I don't know if you guys do the same thing, but anyways, um, I did open it. So I actually ordered four things from Jimmy Bean Wool, Jimmy Bean's Wool. Um, two of the things are on back order, so I will not talk about them until I get them, but I had to buy this little this little guy right here. So this is from a brand called Lantern Moon Handcrafted. I have never heard about them um, before this, but I did order this little tape measure. How freaking cute is this? And this is a little tail, and that's the measuring tape comes in three different colors. It comes in black, wooly, or merino. So I got the merino. I love it already. I just, I love animals and I love any little like notion type of situation with animals. I think it's the cutest thing ever. And of course I love me some sheep because they are very, very important. So yeah, I got this little tape measure. And then I, I am a sucker for free shipping. And whenever it says like this much money to free shipping, I always have to get that to get free shipping, which doesn't make any sense because then I end up spending more than I should. But anyways, um, I don't know why this came up, but this little envelope here, if you don't recognize it, it is from Jimmy Bean Wool's um, Halloween uh, mystery box thing that they do. So I'll open it up. Um, this, it was just I think this was like seven dollars so i did it for the free shipping pretty much and it is this gauge thingy <laughs> i forget what they're called but it's a coffin which i thought was very very cool um so this was from the the mystery box i believe from the last halloween not this one that just passed the one before that um i love the fact that they actually did make them and you could buy them which is awesome um, it's pretty, pretty thick wood, so definitely worth it, but just super, super cool. All right, so those are my only two little things from Jimmy Bean Wool as of right now. The rest of the stuff is on pre-order. I saw this on, I believe her name is Grace. I'll link her channel down below. She's doing a giveaway, and she talked about um, Lantern Moon on there and a couple of new little things she got and I was like I need to find these little things and apparently you can't go on like Lantern Moon's website and order anything. I ended up ordering from Jimmy Bean and then I also ordered from Etsy but 
again, when that stuff comes in, I'll talk about it then. Um, but yeah, so that was Jimmy Bean Wool's, or Jimmy Bean's Wool. There you go, I keep saying it wrong. Now this next package is from Lion Brand. I believe this is new yarn, but I could be wrong. If you have used this yarn before, definitely let me know down in the comments. To me, it's new. I haven't seen it before, and I was really excited when I saw it. So I'm gonna, I cut it open, but I haven't actually looked in it yet. So my new New Year's resolution is that I am on a yarn diet. I need to stop buying yarn. I need to stop spending money on yarn. And I am now only allowing myself to buy enough for a project. So I decided to get a sweater's worth or hopefully a sweater's worth of yarn here. I think it might be enough for a sweater, but I could be wrong. Anyways, without further ado, here is the yarn. So I got six balls. I'm just gonna open this up so that way um, it's not super crinkly. Here we go. Okay, it's, it's definitely a little bit wooly but very soft. So anyways, this is the Lion Brand Chain, Chainette? Chainette? I could be saying that wrong. It is 70% baby alpaca, 18% virgin wool, and 12% polyamide. It has 115 yards. Um, it's 50 grams. It is classified as a medium four. Hand wash, lay flat to dry. Um, it recommends a US 8 or 5 millimeter knitting needle or a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. This is the color amber. So it's this beautiful like rustic burnt orange kind of. And if you can tell it has like a little bit of a fuzz. And I mean it definitely feels like wool. But it's not like super scratchy. I did get six of six balls here. So that's about, can I do math? Um, so six, 600, maybe almost 700 yards. Um, I would like to knit a sweater with this. I'm not going to cast it on yet because I have to find a pattern that I want to use. But I mean, this is really nice and it wasn't that expensive. I'll have the price come up somewhere. I was actually shocked because I feel like alpaca can get expensive, right? I could be wrong there. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, this is really nice. It's, it's actually really soft. I found that I really love baby alpaca or just alpaca in general. If you guys have any recommendations on what I should make, like I said, I have six balls of yarn and I wear like a medium large. So if you guys have any patterns that you think I should look at, definitely let me know because I'd love to make a sweater with this. I think it'd be so pretty. And I love this color. I know that it's not the right color for the time of year, but I just, I couldn't resist. A lot of it was sold out. That's why I think it is a new yarn. So definitely let me know what you guys think. Have you used this yarn before? What did you make? And what should I make? Like I said, I have six balls of this. Um, I'm gonna try to be on a yarn diet, but I know that's not gonna be easy. So yeah, that's the short little video I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.